Well, two childhood friends obsessed with Amazon.com have started a company that is giving the e-commerce giant a run for its money. Less than six years ago, Diapers.com's warehouse was just a friend's garage. They were buying diapers out of Costco and BJ's. This year, the company will sell half a billion diapers. And not just diapers either. There are 25,000 other items and more, like baby wipes and shampoo. That is where they make their money. The story is in the latest edition of Bloomberg Business Week, And I'm happy to be joined uh, now by Mark Lore, who's the CEO of Quitsy, which is the parent company of Diapers.com, and also the COO, Vinny Barrara. They're at the company's headquarters uh, over there in Jersey City, right across the river. Thanks so much, guys, uh, for joining me. A very interesting article in this Bloomberg Thank Business you. Week. Uh, before we get into the operations of your company, though, this jobs report, guys, basically showed you that earnings are not increasing for people, that people are likely not going to spend even more. So for a retailer like yours, like yours, an e-commerce a company like yours. What is that? Does that does that strike panic in your heart, Mark? I'm sorry, it's a little bit difficult to hear here. What was the question? Okay, so let me boil it down in two seconds. Basically, it looks as if the jobs report tells you that there's not a lot of spending going on. Does that concern you, Mark? Yeah, I mean, as a retailer, it obviously concerns us, but, uh, you know, we've been able to grow the business pretty nicely by just, you know, making life easier for, for new parents, and we'll continue to do that. And I, I think as long as we uh, continue to offer great customer service, fast shipping, and, and good prices and value, we'll continue to grow the business. Okay. Uh, Vinny, let me then direct this question to you. Um, Amazon.com is watching your growth. Uh, how much, how competitive have they been? I know they launched a, an Amazon mom website to compete against yours. Uh, what are you doing in reaction to that? I think we don't spend, you know, as much time as people think, you know, on Amazon or on the other competitors. Our main focus is always on the customers, Mark said. Um, we're all trying to actually grow the online share. Uh, you know, this is a, by all accounts, uh, you know, this is a $40 billion market, and it's just a fraction right now online. So anything folks do, even competitors, to get people aware that you can buy these products online is good for us. Right. And, um, you know, we're all trying to do the same thing. But, you know, but, and one of the analysts who quoted in the story said, though, that your business could easily become uh, over $1 billion revenue business. I mean, have you, what are your projections of when you could cross that level? Yeah, I think, I mean, we're on pace now to, to cross that in 2012, um, but we're going to continue to add uh, new product categories. Um, you know, we're, we're launching a, a toy site in the spring called yoyo.com. We just launched soap.com, which is basically everything you'd find in a drugstore. And so we're going to continue to launch new categories of goods, new websites um, to serve these busy new parents uh, to try to get them everything they could possibly need overnight. Okay, so as you're doing all of this and as you're growing, have you guys thought about your exit strategy? I mean, what if Amazon came knocking on your door and said, you know what, rather than compete with you, we're just going to buy you? Yeah, I mean, right now we're just, you know, head down, building our business, not really thinking about that. Um, we're just trying to to do the right thing for the customer right now. Yeah, like you said, it's a tough economy. When you start thinking about things like that and not focusing uh, in, in this kind of climate, um, you're gonna go. You're gonna go wrong. So uh, you know, we, we we just stay like Mark said, head down. Okay. Well, then, are you looking? Are you guys looking for more cash to expand? Yep. We're currently in the process of uh, doing another round of financing. Uh, every year now for the last five years, we've raised money uh, in the fall, and and we're looking to do the same again uh, this fall. Okay. And how much are you planning on raising? What more do you want to raise? Yeah. This will be uh, about a hundred million dollar round. 100 million. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Really appreciate it.